Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays. We are still working on Link to the Past. Last time, we were able to go into the Desert Palace, take care of them shenanigans, and today, we're gonna do a little bit of overworld stuff. Maybe get some upgrades? How about that? How does that sound, viewers? Do you like upgrades? We were able to get ourselves a nice pair of flippy flips, so we can swim now, which is very nice. Good for Link, not so much for me. I don't know, can I go in that? Ooh, viewers? <gasps> what do you think this is? A mysterious pond, perhaps? What if we toss something into it? Let's throw an item. Okay, I guess we didn't need to select it. How about... I already kind of spoiled it. If I could find the boomerang. Yes. Oh, it's a fairy. One of my favorite songs, the Fairy Fountain song. Did we drop it? I don't know. Is this fair to say we dropped it? We kind of threw it. Well, anyway, by being honest, we can net ourselves the level two boomerang, the magic boomerang. If you leave, and then you come back. You can do it again. I believe as of now... Oop, that's not... <laughs> that's not what I meant to throw. <laughs> Don't drop it again, you big dummy. Yeah, alright, so... The bow is not something that gets upgraded right now. We will try this one more time. Instead of... Mashing buttons. Okay, here we go. Very carefully. The only other thing that I know of, right? Well, there's two things. One of which is of use, but... The other one we don't really have use for yet. You can throw your shield in. The level one shield, get yourself an upgrade to that. So being... With honesty being the best policy, now we have the shield, the fighter's shield, so that's the level two shield. And one final thing, if this interests you, um, well, actually, you know, we can do it. I thought that we couldn't because I I forgot that we used the, the rescue fairy that I screwed up. Okay. We can do one more thing, viewers. Throw in one final item. In this case, the bottle, if you have an empty one, you can toss it in there. We didn't just drown the bee, don't worry. We did. So the final thing you can grab today is you can get a Medicine of Magic, a free potion. So there you go. Three free things that you can get upgrades to. We're actually gonna switch to the boomerang because I don't wanna accidentally use my, uh, my free potion. And we are going to take this whirlpool and get the heck out of here. Okay, so. This, my friends, is the Pond of Happiness. Coming in here. Being careful not to hit the sentient boogers. Going in here. Okay. So we are going to be generous today. And we are going to throw in some rupees. Let's go ahead and throw in 20 for now. So that doesn't do anything yet, however, you can come back and throw in some more. Trust me, this is worth it, don't worry. This is not like one of those scams when you're at the grocery store and they're like, hey, do you want to round up to whatever? We have tons of money and we could be donating a ton of it, but how about you do it instead? For no benefit, besides feeling good. All right. We're gonna keep at it. We're gonna try to get up to 100. And one more ought to do it. Finally, we have hit the 100 mark and the greedy fairy of this fountain will let you choose to carry more bombs or arrows. We have less capacity for bombs, so I'm gonna start with that. So now we can carry 15. Pretty explosive price. 
Very nice, and it tops us off as well. So you can stop doing this right here, or you can continue to do this for a while and get yourself more goodies. I think we might need to leave first and then come back. So just keep this in mind. You can pop back in and conveniently, this time around, you don't have to waste as much time. You can do it in chunks of 50, so that's pretty helpful. <laughs> Today we will have big trouble. The only big trouble is uh, the hurt and we're going to be putting on these enemies around us in Hyrule. I know that. So there you go. Another visit from the fairy. These are in chunks of 50. So we're going to carry more arrows this time around. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll come back here off screen and top off again. We don't really need to do that much. So there you go. The Pond of Happiness has certainly made us a pretty cheerful guy. Feels pretty good. And I think, if I remember correctly, coming in here... Let's explore a little bit here in Lake Hylia. Oops. Not cool. I think that there might be... Is this a fairy fountain? Yes. So very nice. We can top ourselves off. Okay. You definitely needed that. So I'm actually going to show you guys something a little sneaky here in a moment. Something that you... You got to kind of play around with to know that this is here. Oop, can't jump into the water. That is not a, not a ledge, apparently. Oop. <laughs> there was a sneaky bomb in there, though. That's pretty uncool. Anyway. Ignore this. We are going to be doing a little swimming today. And I do believe, if I remember correctly, there's a little something something underneath this bridge. Just water under the bridge. Oh, pfft. <laughs> like bounced off of D Mike's head there. And we have a squatter hanging out under the bridge. Let's go ahead and give him a little chat. Ooh. There you go. So, I don't know, for no real reason whatsoever, they just kind of give it to you? Strange, but, you know, it is what it is. So far, so good. So we will go ahead and find ourselves back on land here in a moment. <laughs> if I could swim properly, come on. Here we go. Come on. Okay, all right, all right. And then we were going to do a quick... Uh, save and quit. Yes. Very good. So far, so good. And we're going to start from Sanctuary this time around. You can... You can play around with this if you want to, but... Heading all the way back yourself, but this is just a quick out to get to, um... Actually, what does this do? Is there anything in here? Nope. We are headed, actually, to the cemetery. We've got some goodies here that we can now take advantage of because we do have the Power Glove. Or the Titan's Mid, I should say, not Power Glove. We are playing with power. We don't have a Power Glove yet. But if you pop it in here, you can find yourself inside Hyrule Castle again. And we have bombs, so I think we can just... You don't even have to use bombs for breakable walls like that. You can just come in here and do it that way. Whatever fits your fancy. I mean, these enemies do a ton of damage to me. Jeez. But that's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't panic. More arrows. 300 rupees. So you can expand your, uh, your stuff with the Pond of Hope if you want. Get yourself three upgrades. Okay. So not bad. I think we could just go this way, or... We're just trying to get out of here real quick. 
to go to the sanctuary. I think we can just do the... Yeah, we'll do the save and quit. We're taking some shortcuts today, guys. Don't mind me. Okay. So we've done basically everything that you can do in the overworld right now. So far, so good. We are going to be on our way to dungeon number three. We are really making a ton of good progress. I think it's... No, not there. This all made more sense to me back when I was playing A Link Between Worlds, but... Ah, there we are. So as you can see, ooh, we're being attacked by birds, which aren't real. But as you can see here, this is the route that we're heading towards. This is Death Mountain which is a wonderful place to be. Fun for the whole family. Good place to take the kids. So this is the route to Dungeon 3 that we need. Ooh, there's a ton of, ton of bats in here. What else would you expect? Makes me think back to my, <laughs> excuse me, to my days playing um, like Pokemon Red and Blue, going through Mount Moon the first time as a little kid, not really knowing what to expect and just having to deal with 8 billion Zubats. That was fun, right? Wasn't that an enjoyable part of the game? I don't know if this leads me anywhere. I think that they these are just... Oh! It's Father Time down there. Alright, and that's a dead end. So yeah, you just gotta go to the right. So, Grandpa here wants us to take him with us. So, thankfully he's able to Hit us with some exposition. Who is... He's telling us where to go. He said take a right. I don't know if he meant right and like go down or what. Because that's a dead end. Sir, do you know where you're going? Because I definitely don't. And if you don't know where you're going, then we are in some trouble. Oh no. Kidnapping granddaughters. Not cool. So yeah, that's kind of the big thing is... There are the... Kind of the wise men, the wizards of Hyrule that, I guess, their granddaughters are the ones who, uh, they're holding them hostage, I think, to essentially blackmail them. So, we get the magic mirror. You're gonna need this in the future. This is one of the biggest- oh, you know what? <laughs> That's messed up. I couldn't do anything. I'm trying to just avoid these big old boulders, oh boy. Yeah, these are uh, pretty treacherous, and if they hit you, they do a ton of damage, so... I could see myself winding up with a, uh... The old game over here, very care very soon if I'm not careful, is what I was trying to say. I would like to... I don't know what the RNG is like for these things, but... No, stop it. I'm just trying to see if there's any, like, hearts under these, maybe? Oh! Well, isn't that some poopy garbage? Come on. We should be able to start from- there we go, mountain cave, perfect. So not so- oh, we can just talk to him again? That's convenient. So we need to get the moon pearl, it's actually good that we came in here, it's on the top of the mountain. And... Grandpa will... top us off, very nice, very kind of him. So there you go. We're gonna start from here, not have to do a whole bunch of backtracking. Thanks, game, for being considerate of how horrible that would have been. So, we'll keep moving along. I don't know if this is the cave I want. Uh, wait a second. Just gonna keep looking around here for a moment, just trying to orient myself. Okay. I think I... Don't want to go into that cave. I think I picked the wrong one. This looks right. Here we go. This cave leads to the path back to Kakariko Village. Okay. That is fine. We will climb up. Is this a ladder? Is this a staircase? Like, it's obviously flat, so it's hard to tell, but... Which is it, game? Which is it? Alright. So... It looks like we've got a cave here. There's a heart piece up there. Pretty nice. 
Um, and then we need to... Is this safe to jump into? Well, we're gonna find out. Why not? Oop, there's some baby mold orm in here. We already killed your mom. Oh, no, we didn't. That was the, uh... That was the desert... The desert caterpillar wieners. That was last time. I have no idea where I'm going. As per usual. Oop, there's some fairies here. Do we have an empty bottle? We do. Bottle number three. But we need the net, not the bottle. You ding dong. Nope, stop. Stop it. There we go. I love how lazy the, uh... <laughs> I love how lazy the, the net is. That's all you get. Okay, so I think we have to go back the way that we came. There's no real other path forward. Which, if that is the case, that's fine. As we walk diagonally a long time. Guys, we're doing fine. Let's jump down here and then trek back up. We will take the second ledge instead and see what that's got in store for us. I love hopping down ledges. Another Pokemon reference. That was a big thing for me as a kid. Hopping down them ledges. I love doing that. All right. Uh, this one? Okay. Let's try this one instead and see what we get. This looks promising. This is like the other side of the cave that we couldn't access before. They very conveniently put barriers up that we could not get to. But if you look in here, it's another heart piece. Oh yeah. What does this say? So here's, so that's what I don't know. We have to make it to the top of Spectacle Rock. So we will do that eventually. I don't know where this, okay. So this just sets me back to the previous location. So we're gonna do some more diagonal walking. You love that. Or if I can just use my Pegasus boots and just power my way through. Yes, that's pretty, pretty successful. Okay, and then we will hop down again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying hopping down because that is the name of the game. Okay, so we're gonna pop all the way to the right. There is a heart piece up there that we can't get to yet. And I don't think there's anything in that cave. But there is. A magic portal! <laughs> Let's see what's in here. This, my friends, is going to take us into the second... Big gimmick of this game. So now we are a rabbit. Um... Well... That's inconvenient. But uh, I guess there's not really much we can do. Oh, well, there's Kirby. There's a demon here. But we were given that magic mirror, right? Let's see what it does. It gets you a heart piece. Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Pretty great. And then if you hop off here, you put yourself right in front of the very next dungeon. So we'll come back to that in a second. There's not really a whole lot you can do until you get there. Everything's gonna be blocked off by these big wooden pegs. And we're not really familiar with pegging yet, so we're gonna just wait. Oops. <laughs> and I think it's almost wiped out on both sides. Oh, nope. There's this, but we can't read it yet. So unfortunately, We'll have to leave that be for now. And then next time, we will take on the dungeon right in front of us, the Tower of Hera. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays with a link to the past. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.